Indonesia, here we go. Hey guys, what's up? So, some of you may know, some of you may not know, but tomorrow I'm leaving for Indonesia. I'm once again going volunteering, this time not to learn about sharks, but to learn about manta rays. So it's going to be an incredible experience and I'm going to take you guys with me. Let's go. I'm still not packed and my train is in four hours. I mean... transition and you're absolutely right. Last time I left you off I was still in Doha airport and now it's been actually two weeks since I've been on this island. I just wanted to get used to living here and being around all the other volunteers getting to know them and I didn't want to shove a camera in the face so yeah sorry now I might well hopefully I will get some more things done and more things filmed. But yeah, so now that I'm here, I can actually explain to you what most of the time we're doing. So most of the time we're diving around the island, as you can see here, in like that spot over there. And then another one is right, right underneath me. And there's another one on the other side of the island. And these dives are to point out fish, the called pointy dives. It's the scientific dives where we just go around the island and the coral reefs trying to see and figure out which fish are still living there. We have a few target fish that uh, we try to point out every single time and also see if there are any new types of fish. Real quick, just to clarify what I just said because obviously no one understood that, even myself, I really... I did not understand what I said. So, fish pointies are actually a method used by the volunteer program to teach us new volunteers about the new types of uh, about the types of fish that we will need to identify during surveys, that helps indicate the health of the coral reef. But those are not the only things that we have to monitor. We also monitored um, substrates, which ranges from algae to coral to habitat to rock, sand, everything, and also invertebrates. So all these information can help us um, help us indicate if the coral and the reef is healthy or not so yeah once we got past all those tests we could do an actual survey which is we lay a transect of 100 meters and in those 100 meters each group is has a specific objective some have substrates some have fishes and some have invertebrates and during those 100 meters we go and we see how many of each category uh, we can find in that Transact. Today is Saturday, we have fun dives on Saturday and so half the team goes out in the morning to tell two fun dives and the other half goes out in the afternoon and I'm today I'm in the afternoon dive so the camp is pretty empty so I'll try and show that to you right now.
I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see from up here. The world seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful, you and me. We meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. And that's it, my time in Indonesia has come to an end, but I still have one last stop before going home, and that is Singapore. I'm going to spend two days exploring the city, because I have a layover and I just chose to extend my stay, because why not? Finally made it out of Singapore and World War. So, as you can see I'm not used to filming in public and that's why I keep my voice soft. But what I'm trying to say here is that I'm going to take a risk, I'm going to go explore Singapore without using my phone for Google Maps and I'll just explore the city randomly. So you'll see me, I'll get off the metro at a random stop and just explore the town. Yeah, in the end I didn't take many pictures or videos, but I really did enjoy the food and the architecture of the city. It's really futuristic and I actually like quite like it there. I would definitely have to go back because I did not see enough of it. Anyways, that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. And for those of you who wondered what volunteering was like, hopefully this maybe could have shown you a bit of an example of what could be your experience.
So see you guys.